Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Awe-inducing creatures like mammoths, giant ground sloths, saber-toothed cats, and even dinosaurs are believed to have gone extinct since the last ice age ended about 11,700 years ago. Or have they? Many people, including researchers and scientists, believe that some of the prehistoric animals could still exist. Let's have a look at them. Megatherium Sloths may well rank among the world's most peculiar animals. With their backs pointing downward, they hang in trees and move in slow motion from branch to branch with the aid of their sickle-shaped claws. But it's not a new creature. Sloths already occurred 10,000 years ago. For example, the species Megatherium, known also as an extinct relative of the sloth. The Megatherium was one of the largest ground mammals ever to have existed. These sloths could reach the size of an elephant and were much too heavy to spend a significant amount of time in the trees. Megatherium dominated the continent's southern grasslands and lightly forested areas and was something of a king of the mammals for thousands of years before a mass extinction event wiped it from the planet. Or did it? Rumors of giant sloths living deep in the jungles of South America have emerged. Those who live in and around the Amazon rainforest have long passed down stories of a dangerous beast they call the Mapinguari, a giant sloth-like creature who is over seven feet tall with matted fur and large, sharp claws. Some experts have theorized that the initial Mapinguari sightings many years ago may in fact have been Megatherium that survived extinction by sequestering themselves within the shelter of the rainforest. It is quite possible because even during the extinction event, these amazing creatures somehow managed to stay alive for more than 4,000 years. Short-Faced Bears Bears are already too scary, but there's something else you need to know about their ancestors. About a few hundred million years ago, it was the time of the short-faced bear, the largest bear species that ever lived. They get their name from the shape of their heads. Because they were short-faced, these giant bears had a much stronger bite force than modern bears, even grizzlies. Not just that, when they stood on just their two legs, these gigantic beasts could reach the height of around 11 feet. Some of the North American bears found in the La Brea tar pits would have weighed more than 2,000 pounds, while most modern polar bears only grow up to 1,600 pounds for comparison. But their South American cousins are likely to have tipped the scales at 3,500 pounds. Isn't that just crazy? Native Americans say they've seen short-faced bears and believe they still exist. If they do, we really need to be scared of them. Megalania if you think modern Australian animals are scary, spare a thought for the country's earliest human inhabitants. They had to contest with huge kangaroos and five-meter carnivorous lizards. Let's have a look at Megalania, the largest terrestrial lizard the world has ever known. Megalania was a goanna lizard, a relative of today's infamous Komodo dragon, and conservative estimates have predicted that it was at least six meters long. Like its relative, the Komodo dragon, Megalania was armed with a lethal arsenal of curved teeth. And not just that, studies have indicated that the lizard possessed a venom delivery system. If that's true, this would make Megalania the largest venomous animal to ever have lived. Some researchers believe that this reptile still probably exists in the outskirts of Australia. Because the country has huge wildlife, that is probably the reason they've not been discovered. Huge lizard-like marks have been found in different areas that hints towards creatures still being alive and preying on cattle. Coleocanth The coleocanth is an enormous, bottom-dwelling fish that is unlike other living fish in a number of ways. Coleocanth belongs to an ancient lineage that's been around for more than 360 million years. Coleocanths can reach more than six feet long and weigh about 200 pounds, and they're covered in thick, scaly armor. It's estimated they can live up to 60 years or more. That's almost the same lifespan as the Megalodon, which we'll talk about in just a little while, so stick around till the end. Additionally, coleocanths possessed a hinge joint in their skull to allow them to open their mouth wider and a rostral organ both of which are characteristics that are no longer found in vertebrates today. It was believed that coleocanth went extinct until it was found in 1938. 
Until then, they were presumed to have long perished in the late Cretaceous period over 65 million years ago. But with port construction, bycatch, and climate change, these ancient fish are again at risk of extinction. The Moa Scotland has Nessie, America has Bigfoot, and the British have their big cats. Not to be outdone, little old New Zealand has its own famous legend too. But this one is a lot taller and has feathers, not hair. We're talking about the moa, the tallest and heaviest bird that ever lived. This amazing bird grew to a dizzying height of 12 to 14 feet and weighed in at 600 pounds and was thought to have been hunted to extinction by 1400 AD. There were 11 species of these flightless birds endemic to New Zealand, ranging from 40 to 600 pounds. Early human settlement sites are filled with moa bones, suggesting they were an important food of the first people there. Despite scientific knowledge denying any evidence that moa lived past the 1500s, there have been persistent sightings and books written about such claims well after the Europeans settled there in the 1800s. Once, there was an article published that stated the moa had been seen by hikers in 1993. There were also photographs that hinted the bird still exists in the forests of New Zealand, but no concrete evidence has been found. Sabertooth Tiger When modern humans first wandered into Europe some 50,000 years ago, this snaggletooth cat was probably there to greet them. Until about 10,000 years ago, the saber-toothed tiger was a fearsome predator in what is now the American West. More than 3,000 fossilized cats have been pulled from the acrid ooze of the La Brea tar pits in California. The species is actually much older than thought before. Fossil evidence dates it to around 1.8 million years ago. The saber-toothed tiger is remembered with wonder as a relic of the last ice age. Despite its size, weighing in about 5 feet long and 440 pounds, and its two 7-inch canine teeth, environmental change, lack of food, and human hunting saw this fascinating beast die off from the face of the earth. There are various theories on how this creature went extinct, but some researchers believe that it still exists in the colder parts of the world. There's been no proof, but the North and South Poles are still barely discovered, so we can never rule out their existence. If they do exist, we need to be scared as they might take their revenge on humans. Are you strong enough to fight this huge beast? Woolly Mammoth The majority of the world's mammoth remains are discovered in Russia every year. Yet, some people prefer to believe that we don't even need them as evidence, because these animals are still very much alive and well. Siberia is probably the most remote region in all of Russia. Could these territories harbor living mammoths to this day? Some people in Russia believe it's possible. According to one rumor from the 1940s, military pilots flew over the dense taiga in Yakutia and spotted a small herd of animals, very similar to woolly mammoths. In 1978, a similar story happened to a group of people on the Indigirka River in Yakutia. They claimed that one early morning, they woke up to about a dozen mammoths calmly drinking from the river. These accounts, however, are nothing more than urban legends, just like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. But some scientists haven't ruled out the possible existence of mammoths, and they're still looking for it in Russia. If scientists cannot find one, they'll probably end up creating one themselves. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it on a future video. This is probably a photoshopped image of the Loch Ness Monster, but we get the idea behind it. Everyone knows that the dinosaurs died out a while ago. In fact, more than 65 million years ago, give or take. But some people believe that dinosaurs linger on, hiding until the present time in the remote jungles of Central Africa, especially in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The region is the reputed home of the Mokele Mbembe, an amphibious dinosaur-like creature said to be up to 35 feet long with brownish-gray skin and a long, flexible neck. According to legends, it lives in caves it digs in riverbanks and feeds on elephants, hippos, and crocodiles. There's no real evidence, but some people believe Mokele Mbembe could be the famous Loch Ness Monster. What do you guys think? Megalodon In the world of big predators, even the tallest bears and birds won't want to tangle with the biggest sharks that ever lived. From 16 million years ago to about 2 million years ago, 
50-foot-long creatures preyed upon whales, apparently biting off their fins to immobilize them. Just for comparison, a megalodon was three times bigger than a normal shark these days. According to some studies, a megalodon's bite was strong enough to crush a car. A wide number of people believe that Megalodon still exists and hasn't been sighted yet because only 3 to 5% of the waters of the world have been discovered. There are still various mysteries that are yet to unfold, like the Megalodon and the Kraken. Which of these prehistoric animals do you think could still exist? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.